a move that's taken how long? How, how long has the discussion been going on so far? To be honest, it's been a couple of days. Yeah, three or four days. Yeah, the discussion to go on, but I think that that was a pretty obvious choice to, to make. And you've been what a free agent <coughs> since you since you left Norwich just over a year ago. What what have you been up to in that time? I've been trying to keep myself busy. To be fair, I've never stopped training, and I like I've been I've been a bit everywhere, you know, training, and I've been at QPR. I've been in France, back in France, and uh, I, I try to keep myself busy, and uh, I think it worked. Yeah, what's that? What's that like when you sort of you've been at Norwich for a few years, and then obviously it was when they got relegated, wasn't it? Yeah, like my contract was to going to end, so I think that was the the thing to do. You know, like they, they weren't going to renew my contract, so you know that that things happen in football, and what it's like, it's long. Yeah, uh, it's yeah. very long. Yeah, yeah. Felt, has it felt like a long time the past yeah, year and a bit? Yeah, it felt like a, an eternity. But lucky for me, uh, I saw it through, and uh, now here I am, and I'm happy. What do you do in that time then, as a footballer? As you say, just just trying to. Keep training, use your contacts. You keep training first and foremost because at the end of the day you remain a football player, a professional football player, and uh, you can be called at any time. So you got to be ready. But at the same time, <coughs> you just make time for your family, more time for your family, and uh, you're trying to see the real world. You know, like because you got time in your hand, <laughs> so you expose to the real world. And then um, I think in a way that teaches you a lot. You know, like that gets you back to the real, real reality, which is a good thing. That's a, that's a good call, yeah. Cool. Do you think you'd appreciate your time as a footballer more now, having had that break? Yeah, obviously, yeah. Honestly, I think um, when you have a break like that, and an expected break like that, you when you come back into business, you just like, it's like you got a, a second youth, you know, like you you you're more hungry, you got a an different hunger, and uh, I think that's how I feel right now, and. Uh, I really enjoy that, yeah. Because of course you you spent plenty of years in the in the Premier League. Um, you could sort of look at that from an outsider and think, well, surely there are offers left, right, and centre. You know, other Premier League teams, maybe in the Championship, other countries as well. Yeah, that's how you know football changes. Football has changed over the years, and um, that's uh, an expected game. You know, an expected industry. So, what's been done in the past belongs in the past. So you got to look forward. And obviously, yeah, I thought I, I wasn't going to stay out of contract for that long. But it is what it is, you know. But I, as I keep saying, God has a plan and everything's going to come together. Have you come close to signing for another club at any point during that year and a bit? Yes, I have. But, like, I could have, you know, like, I could have gone abroad and, you know, really far. A very sexy destination. <laughs> but... At what, what Peter was not sexy? <laughs> it's not as sexy as the destination I was going to go. But... Honestly, um, no, I love football way too much. And, um, you know, with what I've done in my career and what I still want to do, like, for me to sign to for a club, I need to, to have a couple of things, you know, like who remains and who are there for me to be able to perform the best that I can. And um, it wasn't the case. So at some point I thought that it wasn't a good decision to sign for those clubs. And I don't regret anything. You know, this is good life experience, and uh, I think I'm I'm even stronger today. And Seb, a lot of people will look at this move and think, you know, you've got so much Premier League experience. Of course, you played in Europe with, with Tottenham as well, and a lot of respect for you for for making the move to, to a League One club. How do you see that in your eyes? Is it just about getting back on the football pitch? It's about football, regardless where you play. I love football. I'm passionate. So there's no no place on earth when I'm ha the happiest where I am is when I'm on the field. Mm. So Peter Bro is going to be a good opportunity for me to be happy again because, you know, like I've been playing football f for ages now. So it wouldn't be a lie to say that without football, I'm not even myself. So I need to play and I need to play in a good environment when, you know, I'm like, I'm a simple guy. I think coming to a League One club is just for me to play football is about humility, I'm humble, and I got nothing more than the players who are there. You know, like at the end of the day, I'm going to be one of their teammates. Yeah, you're not coming in with this attitude of look who I am. <coughs> look what I, yeah. Why would I come with that attitude? Because yeah. I'm there. So if I'm there, there's a reason why. There's a plan, as I keep saying, it's a plan of God. That's the way it is. So now I come with who 
me, Sebastian, and that's it. No, Sebastian, who used to play for this and this club. Nah, this is it's irrelevant. Or that this belongs to the past. And what is it that Peterborough have maybe offered? I mean, you spoke about ha- being happy. Yeah. Was was that the key thing that, that that you thought you'd get here at Peterborough compared to maybe some of those other clubs where you've come close? You know, I'm I'm someone who likes the how can I say that in English the um, human contact, yeah. like a socialize. Yeah. And the gaffer, the gaffer has that. Like he has a few stories. He has a few he? stories, <laughs> and he's a real man. You know, he's an honest man, and he doesn't look like someone who's gonna. So he says truth, and I think he's passionate, and that's what I'm looking for for a manager, someone who's pas- as passionate as me, and I'm sure we can understand each other. So that's that was one of the key for me to come over here. And I guess it's not not just about playing. You know, your experience can be used in, <coughs> in other ways around the training ground, around around some of the younger members of s- staff as well. Y- yeah, if I can give something back to the football, because it's, for me, it's giving something back to football that football gave me. I'm gonna do it, like, but you gotta be careful with that. You know, like I gotta concentrate on my performances before even to try to help anyone else. So my credit is gonna be valuable only if I could got good performances. Because if I'm if I'm crap, you know, like <laughs> no one's gonna listen to me, which is normal. <coughs> Sorry. That's okay. And uh, at the end of the day, if I can kill two birds in one stone, yeah. I'll do that. Yeah, and. In terms of your fitness, you say you've been with, with QPR for a bit, you've been training, so you're, you're ready to go straight into the team if needed, you, you, you know, you're, you're fit and ready to go. Yeah, I'm fit and ready to go. I've played good f- a lot of games during, since the beginning of the season, thanks to QPR, because I'm, I'm really grateful to bar, for the, about them, for what they've done to me. And uh, yeah, I'm ready, like I'm ready, this, I'm available for the selection, so now it's up to the gaffer to, to make his choice.